The flight industry is struggling even before the pandemic. Thousands of positions were open, but the demand for aviation workers is even greater now. ABC 7 meteorologist Katie Frazier went out to a summer camp hoping to spark children's interest in the industry. She reports from our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom. Ten years before the pandemic, the aviation industry was looking for new hires in all fields. But now the depleted workforce is greater than ever and more positions are needing to be filled fast. There are not enough people of becoming pilots to satisfy the next 10 years of, of pilots. So it's a reality that we're all going to feel it some way. As travel picks back up, the industry is booming, but they need people to come help work the jobs. Aviation will always be a requirement for either transport or carrying passengers. So it's a great industry to be in and there's a lot of secondary industries related to it. You don't just have to be a pilot, right? You can be a uh, mechanic, you can be an engineer. For those who do want to become pilots, the initial investment may be large, but a college degree is no longer required to fly a plane commercially. A young man or woman coming out of high school can say, well, instead of doing a four-year degree and then trying to get a job doing that, whatever it is I decide to study, come out here to a flight school like ours, a year to two years later and they're commercial pilot and th at that point they're getting paid to fly. And if you want your kid to be making six figures in the aviation industry one day, listen up. This summer the War Eagles Air Museum is partnering up with the Red Arrow Flight Academy to kick off the region's first ever aviation adventure summer camp. Introducing the children to aviation, um, to understanding what pilots go through in training, to understanding what job opportunities and what the industry is about. The campers will be able to go behind the scenes at El Paso International and also obviously the immersive part into flying and working in the simulator and actually flying in the airplane. The interactive camp will be held in the second week of June. Katie Frazier, ABC7. And to find out more about the summer camper, if you're interested in attending the flight school, you should find this article on KVI.com. And as you've got a sneak peek there in that last clip, Katie will actually take charge of the plane and fly it herself coming up on ABC 7 at 6.